Hi guys, um, I'm in my kitchen right now uh, mixing paint using a blender. You might have seen one of my other videos doing this. Um, I actually killed one of my blenders. It's an Oster. This one's an Oster Dura Classic from Walmart. I paid $20 for it and I highly recommend it. It's got a three-year life, uh, three-year warranty on it. And um, what I've done with this one here it's almost the exact same thing because the um, the old cup to it fits the new one but um, I read the directions carefully on the new one and it says that you should only pulse more than not more than 60 seconds at a time so I would recommend um, I would recommend pulsing like 30 seconds at most at a time and um, so the reason why I'm doing this is a lot of this I'm using old paint that I got donated to me. And rather than having it thrown out, here, let me show you me mixing it here. So you can see that it's kind of has this, a lot of this watery consistency. And yet this paint here looks like it would, you know, I'll, for example, some of the other paint I had would be coming in like clumps, kind of like cottage cheese. Well, this stuff here looks kind of like a yogurt consistency with water on the top. So even if I were to dip the paintbrush deep into this and then put it on the wall, it'll work really well. But I'm having the separation with the watery area, this watery top, and then the paint underneath. If I can get this to mix in really, really well, the paint will be even better. And because it'll have the right consistency, it'll go a lot, a lot farther. So um, I'd also recommend filling this. This is a six cup uh, container. I would recommend filling this halfway because I filled this all the way up and the problem I'm having is that when I blend it, it doesn't seem like it's mixing from bottom to top really well. Looks like I'm mixing, I'm stirring this in and it's seeming to get down to the consistency that I actually want. Um, the other thing, I don't know if you notice, but this paint is uh, an off-white, kind of has a cream color. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mixing four cans of uh, near white paint. And this might be called eggshell. I don't really know, to be honest. But I'm going to be mixing um, four of these off-white or near white paints together. And then mix them all with the ceiling paint. And then putting it in my kitchen here. So I'll have a... Uh, the bottom half is going to be gray. And the top half is going to be white. And the ceiling is going to be white. I could even do probably like a uh, color different on the ceiling than on the top half. That might have a good contrast, but just to keep this process simple. And also if there are um, defects to the wall, you know, as it gets older, I won't have to get as many paint buckets. So I'm just going to do the top half and the ceiling the same color. Um, I mean, I don't even know if I need the blender, but I'm going to see how it goes. There you go. See, now that I've kind of mixed it in. It's got a yogurt appearance. And when you see that it has that tornado like effect that it's actually mixed in well. So I'm gonna pour this back in this bucket and then put it into the big five gallon container. Um, I don't know what you guys do with your paints, but um, I know a lot of times people just say, let's just throw it out and get some new paint. But um, I just got this exterior paint, which I may not even need, so I'll return if I do, because might be coming on to some more free paint. Um, I'm not sure if it's like, it looks like it might be a paint store going out of business or something. But um, um, if I get, if I end up do getting more, ex especially exterior paint, I'll be saving myself another $200 on a five gallon bucket to finish my outside. So anyway, I hope that helps. Now they do sell this stirring uh it's like a metal a stirring rod that you can attach to an electric cordless 
or even corded drill and you stick this stirring rod which is about maybe two and a half feet long into uh into like a big container so like well i think it's it may be designed for one gallon but this is a five gallon bucket but the stirring rod uh, would allow you to mix paint within the bucket well i got this plastic one last year and it didn't seem to work out well uh, mainly because it wasn't being used for that uh guys working in my house were actually using it to stir dry compound and they would keep breaking it so they weren't using it for the proper purpose but uh, I just found that it didn't seem to be very useful at the time so I returned it but instead of the plastic one you could use a metal one and try and see how it works. I'm getting a call right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video for now. And you guys have a good day.